Greetings, consciousness, and welcome back. And so in this podcast, we are talking about the power of love and the destruction of fear. Now, this is important for a very good reason. Because from the beginning of creation, we talk about the Logos, which is love. Love is what binds the whole universe together. Without love, everything falls apart. Now we say the universe is mental, which means it is a spiritual universe which is superimposing itself on matter, physical. And so, whilst mind is spirit, we receive thoughts from the universe. The brain is only a receiver which tries to make sense out of the whole thing. And so, depending on which thought you receive, that which we call the hypothalamus in the brain will send a signal to the pituitary gland. You see, the pituitary in turn will send a signal to the endocrine system. Now the endocrine system is basically that which is known as chemical messengers and these chemicals will be produced in your body or your cells will receive these messages and so if you receive a good thought that makes you feel happy or joyful then your cells will be happy they become productive or positive but if you receive a negative thought and you mingle with it, you make love to it, then it kills the cells in your body. Because negative thoughts causes a certain kind of chemicals, fear and hate, this type of stuff in your body, which destroys your cells. And so the concept of know thyself is far beyond just reading a certain kind of test. When we look at ourselves in a mirror, we see an image of a man or a woman, and we say, this is who we are. But we have to understand, your body is just made out of cells with a skin on top of it. And each cell, out of all these 50 trillion cells we have in our body, has an intelligence or intelligence of its own, which makes up that which we call the human body. And so there is a host of army, a universe within each person that is working day and night to keep you alive and so the universe on the outside and the universe within as above so within or as above so below as within so without and all these cells are just an accumulation of our parents physically because you have 23 chromosomes from your mother, 23 chromosomes from your father. That makes up you. And so we have to understand. Your father too had 23, 23 from his parents, then your mother. And so this stretches back all the way back to perhaps the original man. You see. And so, whilst many think the brain is what carries memory every cell also 
is carrying memory with it. So our parents' desires, they are lust. And when we talk about lust, in religion, they make it sound like lust is all about sex. Lust is simply an intense desire. Check. An intense desire, anything that we desire so badly, is called lust. And so everything that they desired, their favorite foods, their alcohol, their cigarettes, their weed, their sex, all these are programmed in your DNA. These double helix DNA. And so you've got countless of people now living inside of you, all trying to get a piece of you. You see? And so these thoughts, this is why they say be mindfulness or mindfulness is very important because by observing your thoughts, you can control your reaction to these thoughts. And just as you've got this host of army within you, in the world too, we have countless amount of people in the earth. And so perhaps if we sit in front of a television or a radio station and they're, you know, projecting fear, then this fear causes you to produce a certain kind of hormones, which then keeps us in slavery. And as you know, fear will eventually bring about that which we call depression. Because by constantly focusing on fear, which makes you feel insecure, you go into a depression. And this is why if you go out into any religion that teaches fear, you need to get out of there. Because love is what renews your cells and keep your cells in good health. And so if you fall in love, you are always happy, you're glowing. But a broken heart, on the other hand, produces a depression because of these chemical toxins that we release in our bodies. And so each day, you have cells dying and new cells being produced. But these new cells are just mutations of the old cells. We must understand this. These cells are always copying themselves into new cells. And so every day you're a new person, physiologically. And so the universe is also always producing new souls. And so that we're told we are made in the image of the creator. So we are also producing new children. But perhaps if you're Parents are sickle cell or diabetic. Or if they have cancerous cells, the chances are it will be passed down to you. And so by renewing your mind, which means you may be able to change or might be able to change your diet, your thought patterns. And then you can renew these cells. You see, and so spiritual science is very important, which is why the Kemites, they had mystery schools and said, man, know thyself. Because your thoughts will eventually manifest in your body. And so they said, as a man thinks, so is he. Your thoughts will possess your entire being. You understand consciousness? 
And so when we get into spiritual science, we must understand that these universal thoughts, which is not in our brain, it comes to the brain through all our karmic tendencies. Now we have talked about reincarnation. You understand this type of stuff. So you never die, even physically, because we continue living through ourselves. Our subconscious mind is basically where we store up all our data. Everything you have ever been introduced to, heard, on this planet is stored up in your subconscious mind. It is called subconscious. Sub means lower. Your conscious mind is your personal self, your personal identity. Which is now being feed off the subconscious mind through programming. And this programming starts before we are even born. From your mother's womb, we react to sounds, even though we cannot see. Some people even put headphones on their stomachs while they are pregnant. Beautiful music to shape the mind of the child. When you, the father is speaking, the child picks up on it because they are still aware of our environment. So if you are born in a family which is always full of arguments, screaming and shouting, the child feels all these emotions. And so by the time he's born or she's born, all these emotions that they have been feeding from in the womb has already taken shape. Not to mention, after we are born. You see, and so it is important for us to be aware of who we are and how we can renew ourselves by renewing the mind because eventually our thought patterns can either heal us, as you read in the Bible, physician, heal thyself. Or we can produce cancerous cells in our body, which will eventually take you down. Now, I hope you understand this type of stuff. And so when you're around negative people and being fed by these negative people, your entire being becomes negative. And so when you become enlightened, you, you either choose to be by yourself or you find people that think like yourself. Does it make sense? They said birds of the same feather flies together. And so through meditation, by not focusing on the mind and being free, from thoughts one becomes very healthy your body gets to rest and your mind gets to rest and so with this said I'm going to leave this podcast do take care of yourselves and peace <laughs>